don't scrape up those wheels. BMW does use this high gloss black extensively in this cabin and the, the smudges are not fun. It's around the start stop button. It's around your media settings, your climate control settings down here. Ooh, nice feedback through that wheel. And it's off to the left around your headlight controls. And the most heinous application to me is here in the center console because it's by buttons you'll use frequently. Your auto hold button, so you can take your foot off the brake at a stoplight, your e-brake, parking sensors, sound control, M mode setup, traction control. Why? Why not do like a anthracite wood that would go really well with a matte carbon, which looks amazing. Why not do that? Even on the gear selector, which, okay, I guess I'll give it a pass there. But the leather and the red and the gloss black. Why gloss black? Don't do that. I drive controller here. That is a redundancy to being able to touch the screen or use the voice commands. This will allow you to not have to look at the screen, just be able to drive and use the controller. Redundancies are great. Please don't give up redundancies, automakers. And the iDrive is super intuitive. Push back the carbon fiber layer and you find a wireless smartphone charging pad. Yes, you still have that on a CS model BMW with a USB port there, DC socket here, some very small drink holders, and your key fob, which is just standard BMW M fare with a tricolor on the side, unlock, lock, trunk release, panic button. I wish they did something special for, for CS. Put like CS embedded in the back or put a tinge of that bronze slash gold somewhere just to tell people you spent the extra money. It's a fine fob, it's just, it's not special. No storage in the center console area to save weight, question mark. You can't open it up. You do have the red stitching and it's nicely padded for your elbows to rest on. On the passenger side, we've got stitched gray leather up here on the dashboard and I like the design of that. I love the matte carbon on the passenger side with a red CS badge, red contrast stitch below that. The glove box is a little small. That's okay, life goes on except that the storage in this cabin is not amazing, so maybe you need it. The rear view mirror is unexciting. It just looks like a rear view mirror. Not frameless, not digital, gets the job done anyway. Cabin illumination with these LEDs, that's good. And the headliner covered in Alcantara, a very nice touch. And look at this, you can see the shape of the doming they do on this. Why did they do that? Well, because a taller driver wearing a helmet is gonna need the extra headroom so BMW thought of that. Yes, drivers first. Thank you, BMW. Visibility in the cabin is fantastic. Of course, it's a sedan. It's not an SUV with massive pillars. That checks the box for me. The steering wheel, I don't think I mentioned this, it's very thick. And I know BMW and Mercedes AMG do thick wheels. I have a large size hand for reference, and it kind of just barely fits it right. I think they could have gotten away with a slightly thinner rim to this. I like the tricolor stitched on the inside, the Alcantara wrapping, and the diameter of the wheel is just perfect. It's just slightly too thick for my preference. Let's go check out the rear seats. Oh man, that was actually a labor to get over the bolster lip. The rear seats on the CS are freaking cool. I mean, talk about feeling special as a rear passenger in these de 